Unit 2 Tax System A taxable person is an illegal or natural person independently performing any kind of business at any place, regardless of its purpose or result. For companies that are registered in Croatia and owned by non-residents, the applicable tax rules are the same as for local companies. The general tax law is regulating relationship between taxable persons and tax authorities, and tax procedure, meaning in particular, tax billing, assessment, payment, repayment, tax return, supervision and law enforcement, collection of taxes, rights and obligations of taxable persons, state administration and other bodies in charge of collecting taxes in accordance with the legislation, and other persons in the process of collecting taxes safeguarding of the data required in the tax collecting process, and mutual assistance in tax collection and data exchange with the other European Union member states, with third countries and territories. Taxable persons are both legal and natural persons. Residents of Croatia have been taxed based on world income, meaning their taxation is based on their taxable income irrespective of where it has been generated, within the national borders or abroad. In addition to the provisions of Croatian tax legislation, the international treaties on the avoidance of double taxation represent an important mechanism for preventing double taxation of both natural and legal persons' earnings. Any possible privileges and immunities belonging to international organizations and missions or their employees and members are based on either the national legislation or international treaties ratified by Croatia. To see whether Croatia has signed an agreement on avoidance of double taxation with a third country, the interested party shall consult the Ministry of Finance of Republic Croatia website. The 2018 list is available on webpage Tax Department. Income tax is a tax on the personal income of natural persons of residents of Croatia. Tax administration makes a calculation of personal income tax based on official records, data sent by employers and data sent by natural persons. The resulting of assessment, calculation, is sent to natural persons, who have a possibility to complain in case of potential missing or wrong data. Non-residents of Croatia are only obliged to pay income tax on income they earn in Croatia. They can be obliged for payment of following tax and insurance contributions. Foreigners, property owners in Croatia, as well as domestic people, by real estate purchase or sale are liable for payment of property tax in accordance with the real estate law and income tax law. For holiday homes, tax payment in accordance with local tax law, and other remunerations in accordance with municipal and towns regulations. Real estate tax rate is 4%. Tax is paid by buyer. Holiday homes tax rate is between 5% and 15% by M2 for usable area, depending on town or municipal where real estate is located. Agricultural and building areas are also part of real estates. Value-added tax, called PDV in Croatia, is governed by the Value-Added Tax Act and regulations, which are fully compliant with a Directive 2006-112-EZ. A taxable person for value-added tax pays PDV on all services and goods delivered within its business activities in Croatia. Goods acquisition if delivered by other taxpayer from European Union. Provided services by taxpayers from European Union import, from third country, and acquisition, from European Union, of new means of transport whether distributor is taxpayer or not. Exceptions in VAT taxation are defined by Article 5 Tax Act. By VAT, a difference between purchase and sales value is taxed, added value on purchase value. This type of tax applies to goods and services at all stages of trade from production, wholesale, retail to final consumption. In principle, VAT is levied and paid by the taxable person at each delivery of goods or services or any transaction considered by the VAT legislation as such, 
with the exception of certain expressively specified transactions which are exempt from VAT. In accordance with the national VAT legislation, VAT is charged for deliveries of goods and services at a general rate of 25%, except for those goods and services for which a reduced rate of 5% and 13% applies. The list of goods and services subject to a reduced VAT rate is described in the VAT Value Added Tax Law, Article 38, and Regulations on Value Added Tax, Article 47. A taxable person is obliged to pay VAT to the state budget on a monthly or three-monthly basis. When acquiring the status of a sole trader or starting up a company, the entrepreneur may freely decide whether to enter the VAT scheme or not. The integration becomes compulsory as soon as the amount of taxable turnover in the last year exceeds 300,000 HRK. Above this threshold, integration into the VAT system is unconditional, procedure for obtaining VAT number and entering into the system is described in Unit 3. Taxes are paid by companies based on their profits, corporate income tax. However, once the profit is distributed among the owners or shareholders, these are charged capital gains tax, CGT. Systematically regulated by the Corporate Income Tax Act, the corporate income tax is the fundamental form of direct corporate taxation. The object of this taxation is the profit from business operations performed by either a resident or a non-resident within or via a business unit located in Croatia, corporate income tax, and the income sourced in Croatia for which the tax is charged based on the source, that is tax based on the tax withholding calculation. For determining profits attained by a legal entity, the revenues and expenditures established in the profit and loss sheet showing the revenues, expenses and profit or loss are recognized on a legal basis and in accordance with the applicable accounting standards. In 2018 the general corporate income tax rate is set at 12%, for entities that generate income less than 3 million HRK, and 18%, for entities that generate income above 3 million HRK and the tax withholding base rate is 15%. Entrepreneurs who generate transactions till 3 million kun and VAT is charged based on charged amount, can choose to calculate income tax based on charged amount. The amount of profit presented in the income statement is corrected for certain increase and decrease which include different tax reliefs. Entrepreneur should be informed of all possibilities by his or accountant. The taxable profit of a non-resident's business unit in Croatia is defined as the profit attributable to that business unit. An entity may be attributed the profits which could be expected to be held by that establishment if it were an independent taxpayer performing the same or similar activity or transactions. The revenues generated by performing business activities or transactions within or via a non-resident's business unit located in Croatia and the actual costs incurred for the purposes of this business unit, including administrative and general administrative expenses, shall be attributed to this business unit whether incurred in Croatia or abroad. Sole trader who keeps his accounts in accordance with the law on accounting, tax calculations base is determined in the same way as business entities. This entrepreneur is named sole proprietor and is enrolled into court registry by personal choice, if the amount of his annual income is over 2 million HRK, or by law, if the amount of his annual income is over 15 million HRK. Sole trader is a natural person who is independently performing business activities. Taxation of sole traders is governed by the Personal Income Tax Act. The essential elements underlying the definition of sole trader are the following. Business is performed independently, autonomously and permanently, a one-off or occasional transaction is not a business activity. Business is performed by the taxable person for his foreign account and benefits, upon his her full responsibility and by guaranteeing with all his her assets. The tax calculation base of the taxable income from business operation for a sole trader is determined by following one of the two options on the basis of reported data in business books, or in accordance with the decision of the tax administration, flat rate taxation. 
For those sole traders who keep their accounts, tax calculation base is determined as difference between paid taxable costs and charged income, and as such is corrected for reliefs or unacknowledged expense prescribed by law. Income tax rates are progressive, 24% and 36% on the tax bases which are regulated by the law on personal income tax. Annual income tax registration is submitted by the 28th of February or 29th next year. Flat rate taxation is simplified way of determining the tax base. This is derived from the actual tax recognized revenues, while the expenditures are determined at a flat rate amounting to 85% of the generated tax recognized revenues. A taxable person may opt for this method of determining the tax base only when fulfilling following conditions. Performing one of business activities for which flat rate taxation is estimated by flat rate taxation regulation. That is her income from business operations has not exceeded 300,000 HRK per year. Tax department is informed on time about the choice of this calculation mode. When applying flat rate taxation actual expenditures, tax incentives or tax losses from previous tax periods are not taken into account. In accordance with Article 7 of Flat Rate Taxation Regulation a taxable person having opted for the tax base with respect to the standardized expenditure is not obliged to keep books and submit an annual report. The taxpayer is obliged to keep only the book of issued invoices, and he need to submit annual report on realized income, form POSD, by the 15th of January for previous year. The flat rate taxation amounts 1.8% of generated income realization, 85% of generated income are flat rate tax recognized expenses, and 15% is taxable revenue, income which is taxable on the 12% rate. Capital income includes income on the basis of interests, assets exemption and use of services imposed on current period profit. Capital gains. Profit share realized by signed or optional purchase of its own stocks. Dividends and shares of profit on the basis of capital share. Capital gains are defined in income tax law, Article 67. They include disposal of the financial assets, portable securities, capital shares, owner's share income in the case of liquidation process, money market instruments etc. According to this law, Disposal means, sale, exchange, giving away and other transmissions. Capital gain is difference between acquisition value and market value of financial assets. Capital income tax is calculated by tax rate. 12% on interests, dividends, income share and capital gains. 24% on shares in gain realized by assignment or purchase of shares. 36% on asset exemption and use of service imposed on current period profit. Calculated tax is increased for local income tax if it is determinate by taxpayer's residence city district. In the European Union, transfers of assets, share swaps, mergers and divisions between companies with an office in Croatia or other European Union countries, including European Open Companies, SE, are subject to the following rights according to the corporate tax law. At the moment of the transfer of assets, that is transactions where a company transfers without the liquidation one or more of its activities to another company, by a company, or to an entirely new undertaking in return for receiving or transferring inventories representing the capital of the recipient, the transaction shall be considered tax neutral, deferred from tax, under the conditions laid down by law. Following an exchange of equity interests, that is transactions where the acquiring company receives the stocks of the acquired company in exchange for its own inventories and thus acquires most of the rights in the acquired company, the shareholder of the acquired company is exempt from taxes on profit and loss due to the exchange of shares when no cash payments are received. Following a merger or dissolution of a company, for example, due to a change in the status of a group of companies in order to establish a new company or to divide the existing companies into several new companies in accordance with the Companies Act, the transaction is considered to be tax neutral, deferred tax, under the conditions laid down by law. In certain cases, the basis for the payment of corporate income tax or natural person's income tax can be reduced off different relief, state support for education and training, research and development projects, reliefs and exemptions for assisted areas based on corporate income tax law and personal income tax law, and trough different tax rate deduction based on investment enhance law. 
based on current regulations into tax-deductible business costs are also included employers' costs for voluntary pension insurance scheme for its employees during one calendar year till the amount of 6,000 kuna. The supplementary pension insurance shall be paid to the pension plan provider located in Croatia or another European Union country. The tax year in Croatia ends on the 31st of December. Corporation income tax payer must file a yearly report on which corporate income tax is calculated by the 30th of April next year. Personal income tax payer must file a yearly report on which personal income tax is calculated by the 28th of February or 29th next year. Reports on VAT have to be filed in monthly or every 3 months. The corresponding reporting is done electronically on website of Perezna. A digital certificate is required, which is obtained on the basis of a written request. If entrepreneur, who is not obliged of VAT payment, calculates by mistake VAT on his invoice has an obligation of sending report and payment. The choice to opt for voluntary inclusion in the VAT system or not, depends on how and with whom the business is running. Should the entrepreneur decide to become a VAT payer, he she shall not forget to charge the applicable VAT in addition to the net price of his her products or services. This means that in the end the product may turn more expensive for the customer. In the business, customer context, this higher price may pose a barrier to business. For a company operating with VAT payers, however, charging VAT usually turns more favorable for all partners since following the end of a specified time period, monthly or quarterly, the entrepreneur is obliged to pay the VAT collected minus the amount of VAT paid for purchasing the necessary business assets, based on charged or collected realization, depending on the choice. Like most of the Croatian companies, it is advisable that also foreign investors leave preparation of the required tax reports to the experts in accounting services.